What's up people, Dobbsy Wolves is right here and we're with Manic once again. <coughs> Today we have just made ourselves a great present for my dad and for some people that are coming around for our party. We have made ourselves the world's biggest Reese peanut butter cup that we have ever seen in England. Mm. It's spent us a long time, but we've done it. Here's some pictures on the process and we're going to show you what the pod that looks after when we open it. Yeah. See you guys then. Do, do, do. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. If you guys really want to make this product of the, um, well, to us, what we say is the world's largest Reese, peanut butter cup, the things that you really need are one huge flan tray, around about 12 inches of diameter, um, you need yourself three good old blocks of chocolate, it could be dairy milk, it could be Thornton's chocolate, we mostly used Morrison's original because it's better for us and plus it tastes better than dairy milk. Um, and what you need is any jar of peanut butter, a whole jar of it. It's the jar could be easily around about I think about oh, I think five hundred grams I think it was if I remember. But that's all you need. You need three blocks of chocolate for the base, then a whole jar of peanut butter, and then another three blocks of three um blocks of chocolate. So it's six blocks of chocolate and a whole jar of peanut butter. So here's what you do first. Step one melt three blocks of chocolate first in a bambury. If you don't know what a bambury is, it is hot water in a, in a pan, in a saucepan, um, and placed on top with a glass, with a um, heat proof dish with the chocolate in and it melts down. Do not stir it too much or it will start um, getting all thick and it will not work. So don't stir it a lot, but stir it like every minute or so. After that, pour, pour the, the um, Pour the uh, chocolate at the bottom of the dish, of bottom of the tray, and spread it very evenly. You can shake it or use a very small spatula knife and spread it evenly. After that, place it in a cool spot, probably in the fridge or in the cupboard, somewhere dark and not damp, somewhere nice and dry and cold. After, whilst you're doing that, get your whole entire jar of your peanut butter and start softening it. You can easily add a tiny bit of water or any kind of liquid you want to start solidifying it so it could be very runny. Or easily you can actually put it in your bambari and melt it a bit like that. But we literally just minced it. Um, after that, bring out your chocolate case. Even though it still might be just still a tiny bit runny, start blobbing the peanut butter right in the middle and smear it all around. Do not push too hard straight at the bottom or the peanut butter will start cracking underneath the, the dome. And then whilst it's been spread very evenly, whilst you've got like half a centimetre of chocolate only on the edge, start melting your last three blocks of chocolate, and then literally layer it right on top. Make sure you get every bit of that top layer covered in chocolate. Not one bit of peanut butter should not be revealed. And then place it in the fridge for a couple of hours, and then you have yourself your own peanut butter one pound cup. Enjoy. Enjoy. Please like and subscribe. And please tell me what do you think about that recipe. If you liked it, please tell me. And I might do some more of them next time. Cheerio.